everybody um we were going to have a cooking video today but um i've had some communication with kasore and they've told me we can release this video for this new machine now this is the new kasore air fryer this is the turbo blaze uh, apparently this is on sale now so kasore have told me i can do an unboxing video now as you see it comes in a big brown box like this it's quite well packed uh, the thing is there's another box inside so let me get that out and then uh, i'll come back to you right this is the box inside the box and as you can see as it says on the front of there look the new Kasora. it is a six litre now actually this is as, as big a container as it is on the dual blaze and we've got the dual blaze but the machine is much smaller it really is a nice size uh, and it's nine in one cooking functions um let's get it out of the box now let me do this and i'll come back to you right let's get this unraveled First of all, take that cover off. Um, I've lifted the lid off here, and you get the crisper tray in that lid. I think that's in the camera. Now that crisper tray, straight away, is a little bit heavier gauge than the one we've got in the turbo blaze, which is definitely a good thing. And it seems to have more, more venting space. So I'd imagine that's the idea. Um, there's a, there's a label on the top here this is telling you not to put liquid in with that don't put liquid in the tray you know you don't fill it up with oil or anything like that it is an air fryer but anybody who's had one will know that but just read the instructions carefully now that has to come off mate that don't half stick to you we stack it now we've got the usual kasori book here um now, as usual, we've got the recipe book. Now, obviously, we've looked through here. The only thing I'd say is these recipes, yeah, give them a go. Mate, they're not as good as ours, are they? <laughs> they're not. These are all right. That's personal taste. Um, I think our recipes are better than those. Sorry, Kasore. I really do. Um, now, we've got this... Um, this has got recommended settings on now if this is all new to you this might be a good idea just stick it's actually you can stick it on so you can stick that anywhere you like <laughs> uh, yeah um so that's got a few settings on it so you get that as well and then there's the manual now you've got to go through the manual obviously and take care but um it's got all the usual things in it um and there is main, um, recipes online but also before the first run you have to set it up and it does tell you it needs to be there needs to be five inches above it clearance and five inches behind but one thing we notice straight away The air doesn't come straight out the back. It's got a deflector on the back and the hot air comes out the side. So that, you know, if you've not got a lot of room behind, that is going to help you. That's definitely better. Um, now, if you just look at the front, you can see that is quite a bit smaller than the dual blaze. So if you're a bit shorter room, it's going to make a difference, that is. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just stand the dual blaze next to it so you can see this is the difference in size it's, it doesn't look massive but when you're looking at your your surfaces and your cupboards above this can make quite a large difference so that's just one point right i'll move this and bring you back right we'll just run you through some of the key features i mean you can look at adverts online same as everybody else but it's this has got a revolutionary dc motor now this is what Kasori tell me and this runs very quiet and, and apparently very efficient and it does seem to run efficiently and it is very quiet. I will switch it on so you can see um, and it says it's got a 
enhanced energy saving well yes definitely um, and as I say there's nine functions and it's got five different speeds for the fan for the fan now that's going to make a difference definitely you know some things we've cooked you don't want the fan going too fast you know that can be a problem so it depends what setting you put it on of course six litre capacitor which is virtually identical to the uh, dual blaze it's easy cleaning the dual blazes and the tray is very similar so you've got no problem cleaning this unit and you do get a two-year warranty with this as you do with the other Kasuris we better have a look at the machine I'll get some electric to it and we'll turn it on right we've got some power to the unit now so straight away there's your on off button now if you can see that screen that looks really nice maybe Wendy will take some video of the screen right first of all let's switch it on now you can see straight away what it looks like it's quite a smart unit this is it is really nice and across the top there you've got preheat reheat dry bake proof warm and on the bottom we've got air fry roast grill not broil made for the uk market i think and frozen now it's very easy to adjust you've got <coughs> <laughs> we've got various settings as you can see air fryer is automatically at 195 for 10 minutes and you can change the settings you can change that that's no problem but to be honest all i do change it with this now look there's also another thing we've found look at the temperature that goes up to 230 that goes up to now the other one i believe is well our dual blaze is 205 so this will run at a higher temperature and it's quieter. Also, as we said, you can work these independently. You can, I mean, you can even start it up and alter the time. So if I just press go, now, I'm trying not to shout, that, that is so much quieter. And you can still adjust the time, look, and you can even adjust the temperature. perfect and then if we stop that now there's grill start there you go now grill obviously automatically goes to 230 degrees because you are grilling and we've done various things in this toasts and and things like that omelets and yes it does toast beautiful but you don't buy one of these for toast do you <laughs> but we've had cheese on toast and all sorts and it cooks a lovely cheese sandwich it really does oh let me stop that right now one other thing that just to, this is just a quick run through but say you press bake now if you notice that's automatically gone to 165 for 20 minutes but the one i want to bring to your attention is there's five settings for the fan and that's only gone on three so if you just listen i mean you can obviously go up and down as you like and the time but once you press this now the fan is slow i don't know whether you can tell but it is you hear that it slows down now the fan is running much slower now for baking that should help that should be a big bonus right let's stop it i mean this is just a quick a quick run through we're not going through everything if you press warm it drops down to 75 degrees look uh, and you can alter the time as you like obviously but that's just a keep warm feature but it runs on fan speed too right so say we do roast roast look you want it on it goes to 220 and it goes 12 minutes but again you can go up and down to suit yourself you can go up to 230 if you want to Right, that's just a quick one to show you. I mean, you can see it looks neat. It really is. But just listen how quiet that is. It's very quiet. That's, that's one big thing we've noticed. It's very, very quiet. Right, let's stop that again. Turn that off. Now, while Wendy's here, look, if you look in the basket, I've not got the crisper tray in. 
That is an all, a very, very similar size to the jaw blaze. It's a, it's a lovely, it's a lovely size basket. Now, if you wonder why you can see bits on a <laughs> item that's been packed, it's because we've, we've been using this for about six weeks. Uh, Kasori asked us to do uh, part of the trial program. So we've actually been using this, and that's why it's, it's covered in fingerprints here. Look. There is a button. That's me. Now, yes, with the tray, mm. they've added a button. So instead of just snatching it open, there is a button there. I actually prefer that. And as I said, the crisper tray Safe is kids. a bit thicker. Yeah, that's better. Somebody can't just snag it and pull it open. Um, so that that's an improvement, definitely. Right, let me have a drink of water, and I'll bring you back. I just thought I'd run through a few features that Kasori uh, were good enough to send this to me when we first received it. I mean, they're saying that this air fryer cooks 46% uh, quicker, but that's than a conventional oven, which, yes, I dare say it does. Uh, it says there's no more waiting to shake or flip because the heat can get round better with the new basket and the way it's made. Um, and it's got that new high performance motor which not only increases the temperature the heat as well it, it spreads it round better um, so and actually the wattage is 1725 I think I'll, I'll have to have a look but I think it's 1725 so it runs about the same wattage as most air fryers in this category so it's not a power hungry uh, uh, air fryer by any by any means uh, and of course all the parts are all right for a, a dishwasher you can put them in there obviously not the main unit but you'd have to have something missing wouldn't you to do that <laughs> Better um, careful you, the non-stick <laughs> coating with all the consoris is quite good so no problem there if you get it dirty and this has, does have a really good sleek look i mean they're pushing that as well and with it being lower, it is very smart. You know, it may suit people just because of the sheer size. You've got that large basket, but only a small air fryer. And another thing we've noticed, we're using it, it doesn't get very warm. I mean, when we had the, the dual blaze originally, I thought that gets really warm, but this doesn't. The other thing, as I said, there's five fan, spe uh, fan speeds that they alter with whichever one you use you know you don't just change the fan it goes with the settings but the settings you can adjust those to suit yourself and it's got the wider temperatures this machine i don't tell you on here but i have seen it i forget what the lower rate is and i've shown you what the eye setting is so there is more versatility with this machine right what i'm going to do now i'll leave it there for the time being because we've took some clips of cooking that we've actually done in it i know mate this is an unboxing video but we've had this out we've been using it for weeks so we'll get this out uh we'll get it out we've got it out we've, sorry <laughs> we've had it out and we've used it we so, even took it on holiday with well, us <laughs> you, will, you will notice that some of the cooking is not in our kitchen because when we had them um, a few days away we took this with us mate this is great if you've got a caravan or you know, everybody's situation is different. If you're in a tight space, or we always take the Kasori when we go on holiday, and this was easily packed, wasn't it, because it's smaller, and it's lighter, made no noise, great. Anyway, right, I'll show you a couple of bits of video we've took. <laughs> right, for this, we're just cooking a chicken. Tell you what, mate, I can give you the size of the chicken. It's only a small one. I'll put the size up. And we're going to try this in this new uh, two turbo blaze. Now, they do recommend cooking it rest side down, as we've got there. I mean, we've been doing this anyway. We've all realised this is the best way, haven't we? So, they recommend breast down. Now, I've smeared it with oil, smothered it, whatever you care to call it. Let's plug it in switch it on it's a nice looking machine I have taken the tray out so we've done it I mean this is slightly different to the the older model 
slightly thicker. Let's get this in. Switch it on. Now, hope you can see there. Let's bring you on the top so you can see better. There we go. I think you can see about as much as me now. Is that right? Yeah. It looks nice. It's a nice big dial on the top of here. That's true. Now, we usually do um, air fryer and we usually do it 200 so you can easily go up there. And the first 20 minutes, yeah, we're going the wrong way again, Graham. I'm brilliant at this. The first 20 minutes, we want to do breast side down. So, I'll bring you back in 20 minutes. Uh, you'll notice how quiet it is. There we go. It's a little bit deceptive sometimes when you're using the microphone, but it runs a lot quieter. And also, the heat. The other one came straight out the back. You have to be very careful at the back. This one's got like a guard that pushes the heat out of each side. I probably told you that already. Right, I'll bring you back in 20 minutes. Right, I've just fetched the packet out of the bin. <laughs> Foolish, won't I? Not showing you. Uh, this is a 1.403 kg chicken. Um, it says 95 minutes cook time there, eh? No, not, in your, not in an air fryer, mate, no chance. Right, I brought you back because, as you can see, five seconds left now. There we go, just wanted you to hear that, so I'll get this turned over, look at that, that seems to have cooked that pretty well. Now what I have found in the past, it helps to uh, cut that piece there, along the leg, so we can just force that down a little, like that, it don't burn it so much, but I will keep my eye on it. All right, let's get that back in. All right, off we go again. Back to 200. And we'll give it another 30 minutes. But I shall keep my eye on it as well, just in case. Right, off we go. And it is definitely much quieter, definitely. Anyway, I'll keep my eye on this and bring you back. Put the foil on there and balance a knife across it. You need some sort of weight to stop that flying off. I mean, I've tried to wrap it around the legs the best I can. But you just need something to stop it taking off. Right, let's see how that works. There we go. As you can hear there, it's just finished cooking. So that has had 50 minutes. Now let's see what the temperature is. <clears throat> now according to our meter, we're looking for 85. But I'm told 74 is fine. But I'm hoping this is going to be 85. Oh, there we go. That is actually good enough. Oh, it's done there. That is actually good enough. Right, I've taken a couple of photos. Um, we've just put the kebabs in here, but I thought I should take a little bit of film to go along with it because this thing is so quiet. And there they are. There's the um, kebabs cooked in the turbo blaze. Now they were on 200 for 20 minutes. Mate, halfway through I had to turn it down to 180. But they're still a bit crispy there, but these are going to be I'm afraid. Like it or not, this is how we like them. It is done on purpose. Anyway, I'm going to get my dinner out now. Right, we'll just leave you with a picture there of a few of the key features. Very quiet, very neat, this machine. The only drawback I can see, no bottom element. Apart from that, mate, this is a good air fryer. And as we said, this air fryer is an addition to the family. 
It's not a replacement for the dual blaze. Just as a final point, it's £159 at the moment, but there's a voucher to get £30 off. Just click the voucher.